Hello out there, welcome to this tutorial on percentages. So in this video, we are going to do a lot about percentages. When we talk of a percentage, we are talking about certain parts out of 100. For instance, if you say 25%, we are talking about out of 100, 25 of it. In the same way, if we talk about 17%, we are taking a whole as 100 and 17 of it is referred to as 17%. So we are going to take our first problem. Problem 1. Calculate the value of the following. A. 15% of $200. B. 16 whole number 2 over 5% of 6,000 Naira. C. 12.5% of 10 kilometers. So starting the solution from A, we have 15% of $200. We said initially that 15% 15 is 15 out of 100, which will be written as 15 over 100, then multiply by $200, then over 1. The two zeros here, we cancel the two zeros here. We'll be left with 15 times $2. 15 times $2 gives $30. That is to say, 15% of $200 is $30. So we go to B. We have 16 whole number 2 over 5% of 6,000 Naira. We are going to convert this 16 2 over 5 to improper fraction. That is going to give us 16 times 5, 80, 80 plus 2 gives 82 over 5 percent times 6,000 Naira over 1. 82 over 5 percent is going to be 82 over 500 since they going to be multiplied by 1 over 100 as we got it here so we have it as 82 over 500 times 6000 naira two zeros we go with two zeros we'll be left with 60 five goes into five gives one five goes into 60 gives 12 so we are then going to multiply 82 times 12. We can go like this. Um, 82 times 2 is 164. Then 82 times 10 is 820. 820 plus 164 gives 984 Naira. 16 to over 5% of 6,000 Naira is 984 Naira. Then we go to C, 12.5% of 10 kilometers. 12.5% is still the same thing as 12.5 over 100 times 10 kilometers over 1. 1, 0, we go with 1, 0. We are now left with 12.5 over 10. 12.5 divided by 10 is the other way to express it. So we now have it as 1.25 kilometers, which represents 12.5% of 10 kilometers. That's all for problem one. We then go to problem two. For problem two, express the first quantity as percentage of the second quantity. So we have three problems in question two. So starting from A part of the problem, for A, $15 as percentage of $300. So for the percentage now, it's going to be 15 over 300, then times 100% over 1. It's still the same thing as expressing one quantity as fraction of another quantity. But in this case, since it is percentage, we just multiply by 100%. Now, two zeros here go with this two zero. Then three goes into three to give one. Three goes into 15 gives 
5. So that we will now have our answer as 5%. That's all for A. We go for B. 10 millimeters as fraction of 50 centimeters. So what we'll do is to convert them to the same units. The first thing is to convert them to the same unit. So it is always advisable to convert to the smaller unit. So you work with the smaller unit. So we are going to convert 50 centimeters to millimeters. Since 10 millimeters make one centimeters, 50 centimeters now will be 50 times 10, which gives 500 millimeters. So that when we go for the percentage now, it is going to be 10 over 500. They are now in millimeters and times 100% over 1. Again, two zeros here go with the two zeros. 5 goes into 5 gives 1. 5 goes into 10 gives 2. So we are left with 2%. And then the last one, which is a C, 2 minutes, 30 seconds as fraction of 6 minutes. Um, we are going to convert everything here to seconds. So that 2 minutes, 30 seconds is going to be 2 times 60, which is 120 seconds, then plus 30 seconds. Since 60 seconds make 1 minute. So 2 minutes will be 120. That is 60 times 2. So 120 seconds plus 30 seconds gives 150 seconds. Then for 6 minutes, it's going to be 60 times 6, which gives 360 seconds. Then for the percentage, it means the percentage of 360 seconds. So it's going to be 150 over 360 times 100% over 1. This 0 here goes with this 0. So 4 goes into 36 gives 9. 4 goes into 100 gives 25. 3 goes into 9 gives 3. 3 goes into 15 gives 5. So 5 times 25 gives 125 over 3%. So expressing this as mixed fractions, so we are going to have it as 41 whole number, 2 over 3%. That's all for problem 2. We then go to problem 3. So for problem 3, it is increasing by certain percentage. So we start with A. We have to increase 150 by 15%. So what we we'll do here is to calculate 15% of 150. Then we add our result to 150 to give us the new value after increasing by 15%. So we go for the increase. The increase is 15 over 100 times 150. So zero goes with this zero. So 15 times 15 gives 225, divided by 10 gives 22.5. So that the new value after increasing 150 by 15% will now be 150 plus 22.5, which gives 172.5. We then go to be part of the problem. For B, we are to increase 120 kilometers by 20%. So we find the increase, which is 20 over 100 times 120 kilometers over 1. This 0 go with this 0. This 0 here go with this 0. We are then left with 12 times 2 to give us the increase as 24 kilometers so that the new value after increasing by 20 percent becomes 120 plus 24 as in kilometers summing them up we have 144 kilometers
So that's all for problem three. We then go to problem four. For problem four, decrease A, 4,500 by 12.5%, B, 500 by 25%. So this is decrease. So we start with the A part of the problem. To decrease, again, we calculate 12.5% of 4,500. In this case, we deduct our result from 4,500. So the decrease now is going to be 12.5 over 100 times 4,500 over 1. The two zeros here go with the two zeros. 12.5 times 45. So the decrease now will be equal to 562.50 cobalt. So the new value now will be 4,500 Naira minus 562 Naira 50 Kobo. That gives 3,937 Naira 50 Kobo. So that's the new value after decreasing 4,500 Naira by 12.5%. We then go to B. For B, we have to decrease 500 by 25%. Again, we calculate the decrease which is 25 over 100 times 500 over 1. Two zeros go with these two zeros. We'll be left with 25 times 5. 25 times 5 gives 125. So the new value now is going to be 500 minus 125, and that gives 375. So we are done with problem four. We then go to problem five. For problem five, a student got 45 out of a total of 60 marks. What percentage is this? So to solve this problem, we are giving the total score to be 60 marks. And the score obtained is 45. So the percentage now is going to be 45 over 60 times 100 percent. And uh, this is zero, cancel this zero. Three goes into six gives two. Three goes into 45 gives 15. Two goes here one. Two goes into 10 gives five. 15 times five gives 75 percent so which means the score which is 45 out of 60 represents 75 percent so that's the end of solution to problem five we then go to problem six for problem six a woman bought 40 eggs out of which it got broken what percentage of the X is good? So we start the solution of the problem. Number of X bought is 40. The number of broken X is 8. So that the percentage of broken X now will be 8 over 40 times 100% over 1. 0 goes with this 0, and uh, 4 goes into 4 gives 1, 4 goes into 8 gives 2, 2 times 10 gives 20%, so 20% of the X got broken, so the ones that are good now will amount to, that is the percentage of good X is going to be, since the whole is 100, and 20% is broken, so the remaining percent that is good will be 100 minus 20%, which gives 80%. That is to say, 80% of the X is good. So that's all for problem 6, and this is the highest we can take in this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. Please like and share this video. Until we come your way again, goodbye.